Hey guys, I wanted to uh, share a little something I learned about these uh, Makuni TMX carburetors. I think this is a 36 millimeter. I'm working on my project 2002 YZ125 and I wanted to share a little something I learned about uh, how to fix why these things are so hard to jet. I'm having a problem with it running really rich. And I uh, did a little research, and I'll show you what I learned about the jet block gasket. So I have the screws out. It's underneath the floats. The floats are right here. And it's got these two little uh, torque screws. Put it right here. I already have it out. And the jet block is right here. I'll kind of knock it loose and let it fall out. And I already have the gasket out, but this right here, there's a gasket that sits in here, which is right here. And uh, it's not supposed to look like that. Let me try to set it in there. All right, had to uh, shut off the camera for just a quick minute, but that's what it was looking like when I pulled it out. That's not sealing anything. <laughs> I believe, sorry, I'm a little nasally. I was just having a sneeze attack before I started filming. <laughs> Try to clear that up for you. But, uh, I believe it goes right into your pilot jet. If you can see, there's little holes in there. Well, actually, it's right from the top. There's that. See that? It will focus that little hole right there. So that's not supposed to be like that. That gasket is failed and the reason why i'm sharing this with you is because not only the yamaha guys the 125 guys have these uh Mikunis, but all the ktm and husqvarna 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 guys are running this carburetor too even the current ones and they're coming from the factory like this and upon my research I believe that they have these carbs just sitting on the shelf for years and and the o-ring goes bad and also the uh the needle seat o-ring goes bad on there too right away for the ktm guys and stuff i don't know much if the yamahas are having this problem but this is from a 2002 and it's never been changed so it's no good either and what I found out is uh, JD Jetting makes a kit you can buy that has the jet block gasket and the O-ring for the, uh, the needle seat. And it also comes, if it's, it's hiding somewhere, there it is, with the, uh, with the uh, T, T12, I think, Torx. I already have the Torx. Oh, here we go. A T10. See, this one's mine. But it's more of a, this is like a rubbery gasket, kind of like the carburetors have, the uh, like the float bowl and stuff. And this is more like a, a Kemetic style. So I'm going to slap that bad boy on real quick and uh, start putting this carburetor back together. Alrighty, so... This uh, JD kit, I got it straight from their website. It costs like $7.95 or something like that. I bought two of them. I bought one for this uh, O2 I'm working on. And then I also bought one for my O4, my personal bike. And I haven't even opened it up yet. But I'm just assuming it's going to be bad. So... That's what it's supposed to... Oh, crap. I'm not even in the picture. All right. So, to put the new one on right here. And that's how it's supposed to look. Versus what came out of there. So, that's a problem. We're also having a problem getting this to stay. So, I got some grease and I'm going to try to use the tiniest tiniest amount that I can possible 
Oh yeah, this thing is a metal gasket. Cool. I'm just gonna kind of dab a little bit on there. Um, the fuel should wash it away, but I'm still gonna try to use the least amount that I can. So just a tiny little layer on there. All right, so now it's staying. Cool. And now, this is gonna be the kind of tricky part, is to put it back in. It's only gonna go in one way because it's got that curve to it. I just wanna make sure that I don't knock that gasket around. I'm trying to keep it in the frame, but it's more important that I see than you guys right now, so I'm gonna tilt away from the camera for a minute. Okay, so that's on there, but I don't know. I feel like I messed the gasket up. No, I didn't, we're good. All right. So now, you gotta hold it in place with your finger. Sorry, lighting's not so good. I'm point, it's, you know, got shadows. And I'm gonna kinda just drop my torque screws in there. Can't find my Loctite. I would be using a little bit of blue Loctite right now, but I, I don't know where it is. Actually, is it up here? Nah. All right, my, my life is just a complete mess in the garage right now. I got so many projects going at the same time. But there's still a little bit of residual on there. Snug it up. Just hand tight with the Torx bit right now. You can feel the gasket kind of squish, squishing. Okay, and then I'm using a quarter inch um, socket that fits on the Torx. And I'm not gonna go too crazy, just snug it up. Don't wanna strip nothing. Boom. Okay, jet block's in. New jet block gasket. All right. So now, let's see if I can turn it. Whoa! Technical difficulties. All right. So now the second part of this is going to be pulling the um, needle seat valve and replacing that O-ring. I don't know why the kit comes with two. Maybe it's just to have a spare. I'm not too sure. But this one's really easy to do. Pull the Phillips out. That came out pretty easy. Oh yeah, this thing's a uh, pretty, pretty hard feeling. Should feel more, uh, a lot more gummy. It wasn't leaking, I don't think, because it, it would, uh, with the gas on, it'll leak out of the overflow. But it's definitely, uh, it doesn't feel new. Let me get a little pick real quick. Alright, you 
Okay, a little comparison of the two. Mm, not a very good comparison on camera. It's just an iPhone in selfie mode filming. But you saw how hard that was to, to get off with the pick. I'm surprised it didn't break. The new one's real gummy. Just went on like that, no problem. So this one's garbage. Okay, so I got the new one on. Just gonna go ahead and put it in there, O-ring down. And the other one almost like, it slid right out. It should have some resistance. Sometimes you have to use a pair of needle nose very carefully, don't damage the brass. But listen to this thing, how true it's gonna go in. You'll hear an audible kind of click. Alright, it didn't click. But, I can't get it out by hand. <clears throat> yeah, that hurt my fingernail. So, that's uh, a lot more sealed than the other one. And you're just going to put your flathead back on. Your flathead, your Phillips screw, sorry. It's, uh, what time is it right now? It's 1.29 in the morning, Friday night. Just finished my work week, so yeah, I'm a little tired. But I'm waiting for my uh, laundry to dry. Actually, my gear to dry. So I could go ride in the morning. It's going to be a rough morning, but it'll be good. I'm out here having fun making YouTube videos. So, ah. Here is one more little side-by-side uh, -side comparison of the two gaskets. One, this one's the good one on the right is inside the bag. So that's why it's kind of reflection going on. The old junky one outside of the bag. And then is comparison of the two O-rings. Let me get out of the light. It's the cameras in the light right there. Yeah, the new one is not nearly as flat, so. All right, so that was uh, real quick. It would have taken me about five minutes to do, but since I wanted to share with you guys and do a little bit of filming, it took a little bit longer. But, uh, yeah, all you guys with the uh, KTMs, with the Husqvarna's, even you Yamaha guys, these things, these jet block gaskets are uh, failing right from the get-go so if you're having a hard time jetting it uh it's running rich pull that thing out check it out jd jetting seven bucks uh it's not a secret it's fairly new like in the last few years people started figuring out to what i've been reading um it's all over thumper talk it's all over vital ktm talk i didn't even know it was a thing i just realized that uh like two days ago um but yeah, I learned something new all the time working on these things. I have a lot of fun doing it and didn't take much effort for me to just whip a real quick iPhone video and uh, just share my newfound knowledge with you guys. So yeah, thanks guys for watching. Uh, let me know if it helped. Let me know what uh, your jet block gasket looks like and hopefully uh, you can dial in your jetting. So Fingers crossed it helps me out. I still got a little bit more work to do on this uh, project bike. I didn't film it, but it's uh, over there in pieces right now. 2002 YZ125. Uh, next thing I'm going to be doing on it is a um, wet side crankcase seal. Passes a leak down test, but I don't know. Maybe, just maybe. It could be still sucking in oil, but not blowing out uh, pressure. So... I don't know. It was uh, it was like seventeen bucks for a kit, so I'm just gonna replace them, do all that, and uh, hope it gets uh, hope it gets it running good. All right, so that was uh, just a quick little fix on these carburetors. It's the Makuni TMX. I think this is a thirty six millimeter. I could be wrong. I know they come in thirty six and uh, thirty eight millimeters. Um, Yamaha YZ125 is this one's a 02 model.
but the current KTMs are running it. Uh, KTM, all of them, I think, are running the uh, Makuni carburetor. Same thing with Husqvarna. Uh, just like I said, these gaskets are junk right away from the factory. And same with this O-ring. What is it called? Uh, JD Jetting. I, I hear that hear a lot of good things about their whole JD Jet kit, but this is just a little uh, a little fix kit for seven eight bucks, and takes me about five minutes to do it. It'll probably take you longer to pull the carb out, but uh, yeah, just learned it a couple of days ago, and uh, anytime I learn, I like to share it. So just figured I whip up this. Uh, little quick iPhone video for you guys so hopefully uh, this thing won't be running so rich anymore uh, I had my floats adjusted correctly and it was just still running super super rich lots of smoke uh, yeah I will uh, let you guys know how it works also let me know if it helps you guys so comment I want, definitely want to know your guys' feedback. So if you guys liked this video and you thought it was real helpful, uh, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you don't know my channel, uh, I do racing vlogs and a little bit of practice and a little bit of garage work every once in a while. I want to do a lot more of that. So if you feel like you like my content, give it a little subscribe, comment, thumbs up. And uh, yeah, hopefully I get this bad boy on there and running good. All right, guys.